Okay, so here's roofing the cold storage, and I've decided to go with the tar and gravel look. You can sort of see it when you're standing in front of the layout. So I wanted this textured tar and gravel look. And all it is is just sifted dirt uh, from around and about, anywhere, free supply, right? Uh, just used a cheap flour sifter, add a couple of different size mesh. So I got lots of dirt and different sizes of grit and so on. So, and then I use LePage's Carpenter's Glue, 50-50 water, and that's it. And you can see here the look of it as I laid it on. Yeah, it's got a nice look to it, right? That's not even painted. So you can choose to put washes of gray or black on it if you want, but I kind of like the way that looks. Anyway, so I know this has all been done before, but you know, it's fairly simple. I just flood the top of the the roof like so. You don't have to be exactly 50-50, but carpenter's glue and water works for most scenery applications anyway. If you're doing really fine kind of work, like just say you want to do a pile of garbage or ties or rail or something like that, I use matte medium because you can just lay all the pieces out and then um, just spray down with water and alcohol, about, you know, about a 25% alcohol, 25% water. Soak down the debris first because it helps the glue to flow better uh, once it's all laid down. And then uh, you can use carpenter's glue and water too. It dries fairly transparent, but I find matte medium dries a nicer, clear, flat. Yeah, so it's nothing fancy, right? Just spread a bit of glue and water and then just sprinkle on the soil. Like so. Even if you get it on, a little bit of glue on some of the plastic, it'll pretty much rub off. You can touch it with paint if you have to. And it doesn't take long to do the whole roof. I'll just flood the rest of this. You can paint this too once it's dry. You can airbrush it or paint it with a brush or throw tons of washes on it. It's not going to go anywhere. I think Luke Toen does this too. He's really good. He's got a fantastic YouTube channel for those of you that know Luke Toen and does all this scenery stuff. He's a really talented guy and a great uh, contributor to the diorama and model railroader community. Okay, so there you go. Roofing the cold storage all done. And then when it's dry, you just shake it off and you're done. Okay, thanks for watching.